Hello, this is PG. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm reviewing Stalker Clear Sky. This remastered version is available as part of the Legends of the Zone trilogy, which has been reworked for consoles. Stalker Clear Sky is a first person survival horror action game with role playing elements. It was developed by GSC Game World and is a prequel to Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl. In Clear Sky, you play as Scar, a mercenary who has to stop a group of stalkers from reaching the centre of the zone. Okay, gameplay. Well, combat wise, it's standard first person fare with brutal difficulty and some of the most tense enemy standoffs that you will ever experience. Your character can equip a couple of firearms, you can look through binoculars to scope out the area, body armour to protect you, and lots of other gadgets that we'll get into later. Now, it's a dangerous world in the zone. You'll encounter various warring factions, raiders, toxic mutants, wild animals, and also you have to factor in radiation poisoning. There are also deadly anomalies in the zone. You can bleed out if you don't have any bandages or first aid kits. So on the whole, the zone is a truly awful place if, that you're stuck in if you are not prepared. Thankfully, there's lots of loot to find, mainly from dead enemies. Um, the weapon variety, I'd say, is impressive. And one feature this game did add was the ability to customize these weapons, which is a nice touch. So as I said, the zone is a deadly place, but what exactly is the zone? Well, it's a radiated area around Chernobyl and it has been affected in strange ways following the disaster. But there are plenty of people around. These people fall into different factions. Each faction has missions or jobs that you can do. And if you do them, you might be able to buy better stuff from their traders if you have a better allegiance with them. It is a nice rolling feature that makes the game world feel alive and it makes your choices feel relevant. And this kind of rolling war is quite an interesting thing to behold. So you can buy gear, you can find unique items called artifacts. These are, these are harder to obtain, but they offer buffs to your character. Now, getting around isn't simply walking in straight lines. You have to consider the radiation, and that seems to move from time to time. Also, there are hotspots that have these strange environmental features, and they can kill you, but thankfully you have these useful little metal bolts, like in the movie Stalker, you can throw them just to see if there is a dangerous anomaly that you can't see clearly. As I said, it's like a scene out of the Soviet movie Stalker and it adds another layer of tension to the playthrough. As well as the game world feeling alive and always in motion, you always have this day-night cycle to contend with as well. And this is particularly relevant at night as the dangers are a lot harder to see, but it can also work in your favor as you ambush small enemy encampments. Now in terms of the story, I'd say it's quite a quick start here. I felt it's a much quicker start than the first game and I think Clear Sky generally did a better job of engaging you in the narrative early on and holding you there. So yeah, a great game world that felt alive, a good story, and a lot of complex systems at play. Visually, it may show its age in some ways, and performance-wise it can be slightly erratic, but saying that, it carries that bleak, depressing atmosphere of the novel Roadside Picnic of which Stalker was based on. The lighting, I'd say, is really well done, and it's actually part of the combat as well, in particular during the nights, as you watch out for those spotlights in order to ambush hostiles, or just, you know, run for cover. Sound is another terrific aspect of the game, and it adds so much atmosphere. You'll hear distant gunfire, strange noises or eerie sounds, and it captures the survival horror feeling perfectly. Maybe some of the music is a bit dated, but on the whole, I'd say the audio work is very good. Okay, verdict. Stalker Clear Sky is a great prequel to Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl. It continues the excellent work in the series and adds some nice customization elements and further enriches the faction feature. Yes, it's still very much a PC game with brutal difficulty and that very slow burn that most of the best PC games have. 
but if you give it time, you'll become immersed in a savage and fascinating world full of surprises and tense gameplay. It was ahead of its time with a game world that felt like it was a living, breathing place, and it still holds up well today. A quick side note, if you're interested in the origins of Stalker, I made a documentary called The Zone. I'll put a link to it in the comments and description. You know, you might enjoy that. Anyway, Clear Sky, yeah, a terrific game. Maybe I think it's better than the first one, but just another all-time classic for me in the PC FPS field. Scoring, I would give Stalker Clear Sky a 9 out of 10. That was the review. Thank you for watching. This is PG signing off. Cheers.